Hi everyone, uh, I'm Natasha Griffin, or Miss G as the kids will call me, and I am your child's teacher for the year. Um, I have to admit, this is my fourth attempt at doing this video. I <laughs> would rather talk to you all face to face than over a video, but I just thought I would jump on and say hi, introduce myself a little bit, and then just cover a bit of information um, for the term. So, yeah, I'm Miss G. Um, I've been at Highfield teaching for three years, but been a mum there for a very long time. Both of my kids went through Highfield and I was a teacher aide there as well. So know the school pretty well and it holds a very fond piece of my heart. Um, the term focus this year for our team, or well, for the whole school, is wellbeing and kotahitanga, which is togetherness. Uh, for us in room 11, it's going to start off with looking at our family tree and who we are and where we come from um, and our connections to New Zealand and to the world. Um, we're also going to look at a bit of well-being um, and we're starting with a gratitude journal and you know thinking about a little bit more about uh, what's around us and how that affects us and being grateful for what we have. Um, yeah, so lots happening. Um, maths in our class at the moment, we're just starting off with statistics while we try and get to know each other. And then for the kids and for myself, we're going to be jumping into Prime and that's going to be completely new. Um, so a big learning curve for all of us, which is pretty exciting. Um, as you'll know, Hero is our new platform um, for sharing information, for sharing schoolwork. So that takes the place of Seesaw or um, School Loop. So everything will be posted here on Hero. So please do sign up and check it um, for notices and videos and the kids' work. They'll be sharing quite a bit on there as well, which is kind of exciting. It's a pretty cool platform. Um, and when once you kind of have a bit of play with it, it's, it's pretty easy to navigate, which is exciting. Um, just wanted to say thank you for the support with all this crazy COVID stuff um, for, you know, just dropping the kids off at the gates and not coming in. It's hugely appreciated by all of us um, and also for making sure that the kids all have a mask. Um, we have lots of discussion in class about how horrible they are. Um, none of us enjoy wearing it at all and I do feel horrendously sorry for the kids. It's it's uncomfortable and as an adult and, and parent and you don't want your kids to be uncomfortable and I'm uncomfortable wearing it so I know that they are probably very very much struggling um, so we do try and get outside uh, a bit and have a bit of run around get those things off and but thank you for um, making sure the kids always have their masks and that you know they're, they're doing their part and you're doing yours which is awesome um, makes our job a bit easier as well um one of the other things we needed to cover was homework um highfield has a no formal homework policy um and we encourage the kids to kind of be more active in sports and dancing and all those kinds of things um and if your kids are part of like a sports club or a drama or a dance or something, please let me know um when they you know have practices or games because I would love to come and watch some of those. Yeah, I know obviously I can't get to all of them, but it would be nice to be able to pop into a couple of games um and and just watch. I know that there's a bit of restriction around, you know, having um spectators and stuff at sports my own daughter I can't go and watch her do her sport which is it's a bit of a shame but if I can get to some of these sporting activities I definitely will um but homework wise there may be the occasional thing that we'll send home um I sometimes do like whole class research or things like that like if the kids are doing an inquiry or they're passionate about something I will encourage them to you know create a poster or do a little bit of, of homework um, around it. Last year we did a bit of a kindness challenge so the kids had to you know do different activities for other people and you know send photos of that to me so I could see you know that they were doing part of it but nothing majorly serious that I'm not going to send them home with times table practice <laughs> or um, spelling word practice you know we do enough of that at school I think. Um, 
And lastly, I'm sorry, I'm just reading off my note. Um, we are going to be all, all us teachers are going to be online um, on Wednesday from 3.30 to 4 to answer any questions that anybody has. So you're more than welcome to jump online and I think it's a bit of a, like a chat conversation video. I'm, I'm not really sure how it's going to work to be fair. Um, but yeah, if any questions about what we're doing or how we do things or um, how I am going to deal with different things or yeah, any questions at all, please feel free to jump on there and and ask away and I will do my best to answer them um, and if I don't know the answer for something I will certainly find it for you and and get it to you um yeah so <laughs> I don't like doing videos like this I'd much rather see you all face to face but yeah so I don't know I guess I will see some of you on Wednesday online otherwise um I look forward to meeting you all at some stage um Hopefully this whole COVID thing is over with soon and we can all kind of meet up and, and have some face-to-face -face conversations. Um, I'm really impressed with the kids so far. They're, they're settled in so well. They're handling all these changes and, and all this stuff being thrown at them. They're coping with it so well. And Room 11 is a pretty awesome group of kids. Um, I think I've kind of hit the jackpot on, on the kids that I've got in that classroom. So I can't wait to keep working with them through the year. We're going to have fun, we're going to be challenged, and we're certainly going to support each other and help each other. Um, when they walk into room 11, they become part of a family, and we all have each other's back, which is kind of my philosophy. You know, we're a family where we walk in that classroom, and I will have their back, and they will have each other's back, hopefully. Um, yeah, but we're there to have fun, we're there to be a bit crazy, and they will say that Miss G's the crazy teacher, but you know got to be something. <laughs> anyway, I will let you all go. Thank you for watching this video. I, it was probably pretty horrendous, but thank you. Um, and I might see you on Wednesday for the online Q&A. <laughs> see you later. Bye.